Deputies in Senegal's parliament have passed a vote which will effectively restore the right of two key opposition figures to run in the country's presidential election due in seven months' time. The vote clears any person who's been convicted but then either pardons or amnesties them to run for office. It clears the way for Khalifa Sal and Karim Wade to stand. The bill does not only concern the modification of Article L28.3, he says, which allows the convicted person to regain his or her rights by being reintroduced onto the electoral roll once the remaining period of the sentence for which a pardon was granted has expired. Beyond this, there were other advances resulting from the national dialogue. Sal, a former mayor, and Wade, the son of former President Abdullah Wade, could not run in the 2019 presidential election because of separate convictions on financial issues. But they may now be able to stand in next February's poll. This bill aims to revise the electoral code, she says. As we've all seen, President Macky Sall initiated a national dialogue which resulted in a decision to revise the constitution and the electoral code. 2019 victor Macky Sall is completing his second term in office and is ineligible to run. The proposal was passed by 124 votes to one. The imprisonment of Sonko and others, he says, is nothing other than a democracy that has lost its bearings. So what's happened today is the beginning of a correction. We can't help but be proud for all the Taksaul militants who remain loyal to Khalifa. It's hoped Saturday's parliamentary vote will help ease the tension being experienced in the country in recent months, as opposition figures have frequently complained of moves against them ahead of the presidential vote next year. Bon, on a dit, bon, on a dit, 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 on a dit,